What's up guys, before we get into this video, I just wanted to hurry and let you know you only have like three days left till March 31st to get entered into my Shed Hunt giveaway that we'll be doing over in Wyoming with Wild Antler Addicts, my boy Preston. If you didn't know, last year we found 130 antlers out there and it was a grand old time. So that's what you're gonna be putting in for. You make any purchase at risingshed.com, gets you put in for the Shed Hunt, you spend over $50, gets you put in for a Kafaru backpack giveaway, and if you sign up for the t-shirt subscription, gets you put in for the backpack giveaway. Also, you get put in for next month's shed hunt automatically. So hurry and get after it. Guys, oh my goodness. I glassed something so far away, so far away, and I could just see it back end from what it looked like, and I wasn't sure, but I was like, I just, I have to check, right? I just have to go check. I confirmed. We got brown elk shed, baby. And it looks juicy. So I'm gonna walk up to it and, ooh, baby, let's go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that third. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And then he has a straight front. Oh my goodness. Look at that ball. <laughs> you talk about mass. Um, okay. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Oh my gosh. Look how thick he is all the way up. Oh my goodness, you're shitting me. Oh, <sighs> get out of here. Get out of here. That is insane. That is such a sweet bull. Oh my goodness, I gotta get him marked on the Scout to Hunt app. I gotta do some circles. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gents, we actually have Jason. Uh, met up with him on the mountain. Uh, actually met him at the expo earlier this year. And Jordan came up and met with us. We had Bridger that was gonna meet with us because he was working his way up and then we have three other gentlemen, but... Oh. <laughs> what a oh. oh my goodness. That thing is... <laughs> Dude, he's heavy. That thing's big. He's super heavy. Kind of short beam, but everything else is just, oh my goodness. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh my goodness. Stupid. Guys, <laughs> I think I just did it again. I think I just glassed up another brown. Walking over to it. I can only see what would be its fronts, but I'm pretty sure it's a milk shed, a brown milk shed. It just has that color and that texture. So I gotta get a different angle and see if it really is. Well, it was an elk shed and I wa walked up to it. <laughs> there we go. Another solid six. Get out. Where's your other side, buddy? And where's the big guy's other side? Broken on his third right there, but not a bad bull. Not a bad bull at all. We'll take that all day. Sorry that was a short little video, but that's all we found that day. Jordan Bridger actually did find some stuff, but just little guys and my phone was dead by the time I actually got back to the vehicle, so I didn't get to film that. And you'd think I'd learned my lesson to take my power banks, but I haven't yet learned my lesson, so I forgot those. But I've had a lot of people ask me, Wes, what do you take on a normal everyday hike? So right now, got some of the stuff out. I'm gonna show you exactly what I take. So typically, this is what I take on my everyday hikes. If I'm just going for a day hike, this is exactly what you see. I have my four Bs. Boots, binos, backpack, bitch sticks. I only call them that because <laughs> I was not a fan of them, or I shouldn't even say I wasn't a fan. I had never even tried them. And so when my friends would bring them out, they were just called bitch sticks. So I'm not knocking sissy sticks or peaks or anything like that or any other company that does it. That's just what we call them. 
and that's my four B's. So, as you can see, I run the Krispies, but I'm gonna need a new pair. And inside there, I have my sheep feet. These things right here are game changers. They are custom orthotics. They literally send you the molds out to your house. You put your feet in there, do it yourself, send them back, and then they send you these things. Those are game changers. Right here, another game changer. These are sissy sticks from Peaks Equipment right here. I will never hike without a pair of sissy sticks ever again. Those things will change your life. Don't knock it till you try it. And then I have my binos that I run. I usually run 10 by 42s right there. I like being lightweight as possible. And then I switch up the backpack. I used to be with Horn Hunter and you know, I just, I wanted to try something new and Kafaru was the one that I chose. So I always take my waters uh, inside here. I usually keep another hoodie or jacket of some sort. I put all my goodies right there. Usually I eat some like pop tarts. We've got some granola bars, some fruit smileys. What else we got in here? Some Jolly Ranchers. Those are always delicious. I always have a pop tart, more granola bars. I just have all the snacks. And I at least take, usually I don't have just water. I'll take some water and then I'll have like a body armor, something with electrolytes. And in here, this is where I should have had my chargers, but I take my portable chargers in there, make sure I have my phone cords or whatever I'm going to be charging. I have my phone scope attachment for that when I need to film animals. And then over here, I have my baby wipes and I actually have a, a water filter and then I carry my gun right there, my 9mm. And that's mostly for uh, just emergency uses and or just dumb people. Usually don't have a problem with animals. Uh, I usually take the gun more for in case things get a little bit western. So you just, you, you never know. So you just always gotta be ready. But for the most part, that's honestly all that I take on my day hikes. When I just wanna hurry and get after it and hurry and go hike, go find some sheds. That's all I take. Sorry, I had to bring it back inside. It was getting stormy and rainy and windy and it just, it was not good. But that was pretty much it. I just make sure I have enough food, water, and just my four Bs to go out on a day hike and that's usually all I ever take. If you guys haven't heard, Scout to Hunt is doing a $50,000 Bitcoin shed. You can either take the $50,000 Bitcoin or take $50,000 cash. What I need you to do, go into the link in the description of this video Go click on that, download the free app, become a Shedicated user for only $30 a year, and that will actually help you get clues two weeks in advance before everybody else does. But other than that, I just appreciate you guys for everything that you do for me and my family. Without you guys, I don't go anywhere and this business doesn't grow. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one.